the Joe Rogan experience. He was one of uh, Nick's training partners. He's been a training partner of Nick's forever. Nick, like, Nick Diaz. That guy? Joe Schilling. Oh, my God. I thought you meant the guy that got knocked out. I oh, was no like, way. wait, no, what the no, fuck? No. Joe Schilling. Yeah. He was there at the Diaz fight. And, um, you know, my thing about Nick Diaz is, like, when I looked at him physically, I was like, I don't know how much he's been training. Like, when Nick was in his prime, he was, like, really lean. And he was, you know, I mean, he's definitely, he's like an older guy now. And How old, though? I think he's like 30. I don't know. How old is he? 38. 38? 38. Is he really? Yeah. But the thing is, like, I don't think you can just jump back in that easy after six years out of the sport. I think you'd probably need more time to prepare. I don't he know. Kinda he kind of got I, fucked, right? Well, I don't know how much time he had to prepare and why they agreed to do a fight on short notice. Because I think it was only like six weeks notice, which I think... Was is fine if you are, you know, Michael Chandler. If you're in like peak form right yeah. now and you're ready to go, and someone gives you six weeks, I bet you can get ready for a fight. But if you're a guy who's been off for that long, you're going to need more time. I think I'm just guessing. I don't, I don't know how much time it took him. But my point was, he didn't do that bad for a guy that was out six months. Yeah, you know, Robbie Lawler was pressuring him and he was putting it on him, and he was definitely getting the better of the exchanges. But it's not like Nick Diaz didn't have his moments, and he definitely did. He would just have to have really, like, way more time to prepare, and he, and he would have to really be, like, ready to go. Like the old Nick Diaz, like the Nick Diaz that fought Anderson Silva, like the Nick Diaz that fought George St. Pierre, like the Nick Diaz that fought Paul Daly in Strike Force. I mean, that dude was a fucking killer. It's just like, can he still do that at 38? Well... Maybe we don't know if you just have one fight you need time like yeah. about if your body hasn't been used to this stuff And you haven't been training as much as you were when you were in your prime if you still want to do it again Like legitimately physically you probably can but it's like, you know, you've run a marathon yeah. When you start out and you run a mile and you're dead and yeah. you're like I can't believe anybody could run 26 of those but if you do it over and over and over again, you build up. I don't oh. think he had a chance. I don't think Nick Diaz had a chance to build back up after being off for that much time. I think you get back to where he was Nick Diaz in his best, you gotta like, he's gotta have some time. Those it's Diaz just, brothers were great for their fucking, their pace. They could last the whole fucking fight because of their cardio. Well, it's, they're, they're always into triathlons and shit. They got Chrome Gracie into that too. Really? It's one, yeah, it's one of the reasons why he's so good. His I cardio did a triathlon, is amazing too. Most terrifying thing I've ever done in my life. Oh my God, man. I'm running the New York City Marathon. When's that? November 6th. How are you doing that like this? I don't know, Joe. Mm -hmm. What the fuck are you doing? You want to I don't know. You saw you Nick, you saw Nick, you saw Nick stand, step into the cage? <laughs> I'll, figure, I'll figure it out. Uh, Robbie Lawler won't be there. But why <laughs> would you just. Uh, Make yourself smaller first. I don't know. We should do another cocktail. <laughs> okay. I, I'm going to try to lose weight. I'm going to okay. try to lose weight. Watch the entire episode for free only on Spotify.